So CSS is starting to expand to solve some of the pain points we've had in it. And also, we're seeing the same thing happen with HTML. Um, for a while, there was sort of this dark period where the W3C was convinced that it needed to change the way we wrote web pages from HTML to XHTML and all kinds of nonsense. That's all gone away, and there's a new initiative called HTML5 to sort of take HTML and just make it easier and better. To throw things in there that we've wanted for a really long time, but haven't had. And, uh, and that's progressing. And then there's this thing called Gears that we've talked about. Um, Gears is really all about the idea that the web should be updated a lot faster than it's being updated today. And in fact, its goal is to take a look at the standards, like HTML5, and see where the standards are headed, and give developers a version of that that they can use today. And so that's sort of the happy news, is that HTML5 is addressing the pain points that we have. CSS is getting better. And the idea is that for those browsers that haven't implemented these improvements, Gears can actually step in and provide a, a solution until that happens. And so the conventional development that we're doing today is getting better, which is great news. But if you really sort of take a step back and look at Canvas and what Canvas can do for you, and then look at the reality of having a really fast JavaScript runtime, you realize that that runtime could handle layout for us. Layout is arguably the, one of the biggest pain points for web developers today. And there are some examples of layout today on the web that are handled through JavaScript. So you don't have to deal with, with CSS, you don't have to deal with these bizarre layout conventions. You can just create your own way of doing layout. And let's take a look at Google Image Search because this is an example of JavaScript layout. Notice that as the browser resizes, they'll dynamically change the layout of that table. Easy to see a future where browsers give us dramatically better rendering that rivals desktop environments like Cocoa and OS X with dramatically easier layout, and that would create a fantastically productive environment. And it's easy to predict that that's where this all is headed. HTML, HTML5 and CSS are going to make low-level web development easier over time, and Gears is going to bring that to us even faster. But probably within the year, we'll start to see more and more environments radically change the way that we do AJAX and web development today and create something that's just a whole lot more fun, which is really, really exciting. And so to wrap up, what's cool about AJAX is that it's gone from being this little hack for getting data dynamically to having a really great programming model with great remoting, with extensive customization vectors, your users can install things like Grease Monkey and customize the applications you write in ways that they can never do with desktop applications. The cloud deployment things that are coming out with Apigen and Easy2 means that it's becoming really, really easy for you to deploy these applications. Components are coming out that are really, really easy to use with great effects. There's a great mobile story. We can now integrate with the desktop, and we have some state-of-the-art plugins. So when you look at that whole landscape, Ajax has gone from being this way to make web applications suck less to looking like one of the most exciting holistic programming environments that we've seen perhaps ever.